According to rumors, Su Kwai may integrate manufacturing of the Su-30 and Su-35 into a new, lower-cost, repowered fighter named Superflanker. The Russian military is adding to the projected upgrading of the Su-35 Stetson fighter jet with a laser electronic warfare system, the fighter potentially adopting a variant of the Su-57 directional infrared countermeasure system. Russia has in the new Su-57 fifth generation stealth jet its newest military star. Designed by Sukhoi, the fighter aircraft is commencing production to fulfill an order for 76 units to Air Force. Yet claims by government officials have hinted that the country should spend in updating older, cheaper aircraft as a way to complement the offer of Felon, NATO's codename for the Su-57. According to UAC, United Aircraft Company, which controls Sukhoi, is likely to unite the Su-30 and Su-35 aircraft into a new repowered fighter nicknamed the Superflanker. In addition to embracing technology breakthroughs, the fighter would also imply manufacturing savings. To date, the two planes have substantial disparities that would be abolished in the future fighter such as the turbofan. While the Su-30 utilizes the ancient AL-31F, the Su-35 is equipped with the most sophisticated AL-41F engine. Among other major distinctions are the most efficient avionics in the Su-35 and its construction created utilizing composite material. The Su-30SM, in turn, is a cheaper and more flexible fighter, only constructed in the two-seat configuration. The combination of the two planes would also allow way for new armament systems, such as the anti-ship cruise missile K-32, which cannot be deployed by the Su-35. Russia is already aiming towards making the Su-30 more like the Su-35. An AL-41F version of the multi-purpose fighter is likely to be developed shortly for deployment in the western region of the nation, said the TAS agency last year. A further step for Sukhoi might be the launch of an active radar developed in the Su-57, as well as a construction with an even greater usage of composite materials. Additional alternatives may include laser weaponry and artificial intelligence technologies. The potential Su-40 or Su-35M may have a similar duty to the F-15EX, the veteran Boeing fighter that was once again bought by the U.S. Air Force. With a decent technological package and a more cheap price, the Superflanker can not only be an attractive option for the Russian Air Force, but also an export fighter with enormous potential, despite Sukhoi having started exporting the Su-57 to other nations.